big needles for breakfast, dinner and tea because that's the way this life goes. Hello, my name is Ingrid Wagner and I'm here today to teach you how to do the linen stitch. And on my left here is an example of the linen stitch in a bag. And on my right, the, here is an example of a linen stitch for a chair cover. Now, the whole thing about the linen stitch is that it locks your fabric into place and uh, it means that you don't have to um, line anything and there's no stretch in it at all. So when it comes to a bag, uh, your keys, your phone, nothing will fall out of it because it's really, really tight. And, uh, and it's brilliant for actual chair covers. You can use it to create a fabric which will not um, let anything through, basically. So, so there you go. Um, so we're going to just learn the, the basic linen stitch. And you can make that into, as I say, into a bag, a chair cover or anything. Now, we're going to work with a pair of big knit needles. The bigger the better, is what I say. And um, our big knit yarn. And it's a bigger fabric than maybe you would uh, you would normally work with. It's the, the it's recycled and it's a selvage of industrial weaving, which would otherwise just be thrown away as waste. You put big needles and big yarn together, and you get your results quickly. And that's exactly what we're looking for, and actually probably what you're looking for too. So here we go. This is the linen stitch. Right. So on this one. Uh, we're going to do the, the linen stitch and um, we are going to use the big knit yarn and this uh, this size needles as I said earlier. So let's just cast on, it's going to be an even amount. I've just done a slip stitch there. Um, different ways of, there are different ways of doing slip stitches. Any way you use can be absolutely fine. And to do the linen stitch, uh, you're casting on an even amount of stitches. And the linen stitch can uh, produce a fabric uh, which doesn't stretch and um, we're going to use it for a bag or you can use it, as I said earlier, to cover a chair. Now. I know when some people cast on, they cast on with their thumb, but this needle way of casting on makes your fabric stronger, gives you a nice strong edge. And because we're using big yarn, that's what we need is a nice strong edge. Okay, now if you were making this size bag, you're, you are creating, I think, I think it's 20 stitches, let's just check, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, yes, 20. 20 stitches, all right, for the for the bigger bag. Uh, for now, we're going to do 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've done 12 stitches, which is fine. Um, if you were doing the uh, cover for the chair, that's almost like a pillow. It's one long piece which has just been folded up and sewn up the sides. I'll tell you about sewing up uh, afterwards. So you just literally, you cast on the number of stitches that you need for the width of whatever it is you are, um, you are making. So if it's a long chair back, you'll need more stitches. And a, uh, a short chair back, you'll need surprisingly enough less stitches okay so the idea here is knit the first stitch then bring the yarn to the front as if you were going to purl put your needle in purl wise but don't purl just slip it off take the yarn back round the other side, knit the next stitch, bring the yarn forwards, do exactly the same thing, 
put the needle into the stitch purlwise and just slip it. Take the yarn back again and can you see what's happening every time you move the yarn it's locking the stitch into place. It's not going to move because you've locked it in with the yarn. So that's your repeat over this row. You knit one and then you slip one purlwise. Move the yarn. You knit one, move the yarn, slip one purlwise, move the yarn. There you go, it's locking it into place. Knit one, move the yarn. Oops, sorry. Oh, there you go. <laughs> move the yarn, slip one pearlwise. Now that's quite funny because on the pattern um, what it says, uh, knit one, hold on let me just finish this and I'll tell you what it says on the pattern, slip one. So you'll always finish the row with a slip one. Now that uh, totally accidentally I assure you slip I made there, it does say on the pattern um, don't watch any Johnny Depp films while you're doing this stitch because you may lose your concentration. This might include talking to anybody while you are doing this stitch because you might lose your concentration however I don't think there's anything worse than or anything better really than once watching a Johnny Depp film and losing your concentration all right so <laughs> onwards um, so the next stitch you do the opposite way around you start it with a pearl so pearl the first one move the yarn to the knit side, to the dark side, to the knit side, and you slip the next stitch knitwise. Move the yarn back again. Pearl. Move the yarn. Slip the stitch knitwise. Move it back again. So all the time you're repeating those two stitches. Whatever you started the row with, you are repeating. Okay? pearl, slip it back, knit, sorry, slip it knitwise, pearl, move the yarn, slip it knitwise, and pearl, and slip knitwise. Now you'll notice when you finish on a pearl row, call it a pearl row, your yarn will be round here. When you do a, what we call it, a knit row, it will be round here. So if you've just done a row which is pearl, slip one knitwise, your yarn will be round here. All right, and you're now going to start with a knit. So just take it, just take it round there, okay? Because that very action wraps the yarn around the stitch and slip. And so you keep going like that. There is no variation uh, to that at all. It's simply that's what you do and you slip it. And you can do it in uh, any, obviously, any colour that you that you want to. You'll notice what I've done there um, is sometimes if you find that um, knitting the stitch, I, what I sometimes have the habit of doing, I just slip the stitch onto the other needle, put the yarn around and do that. Just habit really. Okay, so you're just repeating that all the, the time. And you can see where the yarn wraps itself around here. And um, you have a really tight fabric. There is no gap in that. There's no gap in that at all. All right, and if you're, it shows up really, really well on the, um, on the uh, black and white. There you go. 
and particularly on the bags and on the here we go small shoulder bag now these are done literally a long piece of fabric I think that one probably is about 14 stitches on the pattern I think and then a long piece of fabric is made and then this piece is just folded up and sewn uh, sewn together now you don't need a needle for uh, sewing up at all um, and How do you sew up? Like this. So you cut yourself a piece of fabric. I'm just going to show you an example of um, of sewing up. So you'd have, here we go. Okay. Um, you'll sew, no needle necessary, all right? If it's two, say for example, you're sewing two edges together. Let's just do that. I'll take it out afterwards so it won't be a problem. All right, so literally just push the fabric through. Use your, use your fingers. You can tie a knot in the end um, if you want to do that. Okay. All right, and then push it through. It's like a blanket stitch. All right, on the other, on the other side. So, and you literally just push it through like that, and. There's enough gaps in big knitting for you to be able to, to do that, even with a different coloured thread. It's like overstitching it, really. You can hardly see it, so there you go. And you can't see it at the side. You can't see it at that side. And you certainly can't see it here. So there you go. That's the linen stitch. And that... It's just a blooming good idea for your bags and your chairs. Anything you don't want anything to fall out of. All right, the button is just stitched on the front of the small bag there and uh, and pulled pulled through. Of course, you get the whole thing in a in a kit from us if you choose to do that. All right, lovely, really nice stitch. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed uh, learning the linen stitch today. Um, you can see how tight it is and how it would just, if you extend it, it will just make that fabulous bag uh, or it will make the, uh, the chair cover. Um, absolutely brilliant on your interior textiles, this particular stitch, um, because, you know, if you have an absolutely awful coloured chair like the one I'm going to show you that this belongs to, um, then you would really want to maybe throw the chair out. But hey, why do that? Just knit a cover for it in the linen stitch and it will just become as good as new. So let's just put it back over there. And um, in the meantime, happy big knitting. For breakfast, dinner, lunch and tea, how about dessert? That's free to finish sweet as sweet can be. Big knitting. I could eat spoonfuls of it every time.